So season three of the Umbrella Academy debuted earlier this year. When that happened, I decided it was an all right time to decide to go back and actually watch this series. This was a series I've heard from numerous people that was freaking awesome, but I never decided to check it out. Well, what did I think of it? I will tell you in just a minute. Before I do that, please subscribe, hit the like button, hit the bell, and comment down below. What is your opinions on the Umbrella Academy season one? I want to know all that down below and more, and with that said, this season, oh my gosh, is it possibly the best season of television? I'm not joking. There is not a single thing in this show that is done wrong. I have a little nitpicks here and there, but that doesn't change the fact that this is a perfect show. Getting into positives here, from the moment I clicked play on the first episode, I felt... Like, these were characters I spent an entire childhood with. I felt like I was going back with these characters every single episode that I've known them for a long time. Which is not true, because this is the first time I've ever watched a show. They just developed these characters early on so well. Especially Klaus. He is this funny character. And I've got some hate on a character ranking for Peacemaker when I said that Vigilante was my favorite character because he was a funny guy. And I know I'm probably going to get some hate for saying Klaus is my favorite character because he's a funny guy. But he also has some very good emotional moments. The show is so fleshed out with the characters. And making each episode an hour, that's ten hours. That is ten hours of a show. So it has plenty of time to develop all the characters. And they're all performed really well as well the action sequences they're all right they're not the best but this is a show that even though it's a superhero show even though it's a show that great action sequences would lend it really well i don't think it's necessarily to have them speaking of it being a superhero show it does the genre blending extremely well what i mean by that is it does it's a superhero show at its heart the main characters are superheroes but then it's also a sci-fi show it's also a time travel show. It's so weird. It bends all these different genres together. And it really works. It has something for everyone. You love comic book movies. You'll love this show. You love sci-fi movies. You'll love this show. You'll love the show no matter what you're into. And that is a big thing. And the writing of the series leads it really well. I, there's been a lot of things lately that I've been reviewing that I'm saying the writing's trash. Pinocchio, uh... Some of the Cobra Kai seasons, they never really feel like the writing is ever consistent. And here the writing is definitely consistent. At one point you learn a big twist about one of the characters that reveals to be a villain. I'm not I'm going to try to avoid spoilers because if you haven't seen this, I still really want you to go out and watch it. But it reveals a twist and the start of the next episode explains everything. It could introduce us to something and then the start of the next episode instantly gets you hooked on the episode that's something you have to do is bring in a scene that gets you hooked wants you to stay for the episode and so many shows don't do that so many shows takes me like half of the episode to even get me invested in the story but this show it starts off right out there the writing is magnificent the character development is magnificent the characters are magnificent the show is magnificent Let's talk about my nitpicks here and there, though, because I had a few. First off, the romances. The romances were a bit weird. Um, yeah. Luther and Vanya. Well, not Vanya. Luther and Allison. They love each other. And I really felt that unnecessary. Klaus, I first thought his romance was unnecessary, but it really lent well. It's mainly just the Luther and Allison. That stuff is weird, bro. You guys spent your whole childhood together. And now you love each other? What in the world? It's weird, man. But I genuinely believe that is my only nitpick. Really. Throughout the show, I felt like I had a couple of nitpicks. But then in the grand scheme of things, I felt like they really worked. That's just my only nitpick. The show is a really well done superhero sci-fi show. And I will always stand by it when I say that this is probably the best show of television ever made so for the umbrella academy season number one it's getting an a plus definitely a 10 out of 10 and five stars this is a perfect show of television it's much to watch and 
now that I'm thinking of it, I think this is the first ever show or movie that I've ever given an official A plus on my channel. It's that good, and I'm already halfway done with the Umbrella Academy. It's kind of hard to even want to watch movies when I'm watching this show, because I always just want to watch this show. But anyways, thank you for clicking on this video. I'm halfway done with season two, like I just said. And yeah, I will have a review for that. I plan on ranking the Toy Story movies. I plan on doing a bunch more videos. But but for me to do that, you guys going to need to subscribe. So thank you for watching this video. Subscribe, hit the like button, hit the bell, and comment down below. What did you think of the Umbrella Academy season one? And with that said, subscribe to join the Nerd Army. Peace out.